Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Scoopball no like In the tutorial we talk about all you need to know about BIM system Okay so let's stick around together for this tutorial Here I'm in Revit interface I'm going to you here So I prefer for metric structural template Then just hit OK Okay guys, before we continue for our top topic, don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn on notification for more about it because I make video like this for a week. Alright, so now we are in Revit interface for structural templates. So in the case, I need to create my grid line first for before I place my uh, e-column. So GR I make keyboard for for grid line or you can go to architecture here here is a grid line so I stop pop up here one like this one and here like this one and here like this one in this case I don't want to rename for my grid line for vertical I just press here like this one and here like this one hit escape a couple of time and let's go to our structural tab CL on my keyboard or you can press command here column just select here one or grid again then select all like this one just hit finish hit a square couple of time let's create another beam BM on my keyboard for beam then I double check here for my placement plan I just put it over two okay so again it's something is quite good just go to on grid all then select all like this then we just hit finish Hit us get a couple of time. This one we need to change to fine for show our beam color, uh, structural column. Okay, here is our e beam and e column. Let's go to our 3D. Select here for default 3D view. In this case, I don't want, I don't want to see my level, so I need to hide that. VG on my keyboard for visibly graphic. Then go to annotation category here. Finding for levels, go down. Okay, so let me check. Okay, here is my level, so I just untick here. Then hit apply, then hit OK. So now my level is gone. Again, so we, now we start plus our beam system here. Go to level 2 again. Go to structural tab. BS on my keyboard for beam system, or you can press V for beam system, just like this one. So here we got two options one is automatically beam system, and another one is click beam system. Uh, here is beam tie. You can choose what beam you want. Either you can use UB, mean universal beam, or you can press here, got many tie. Here is structural column, rain for concrete. And here is UB, it depends on you. If you want to add another beam column for like rectangle hollow section, you just go to insert tab and load in. In the case, I just hit square first, so I, I don't want to hit square. I just continue first. Then here is center, justification for center, just leave it like this. And here is fixed distance. So you if you want distance for one beam to one beam or is 1.5 meter or one meter, you can train here and you drop down, got many options, got clean spacing, got fit number and maximum spacing. In this case, I prefer for fake number first, so it deform is swag, so here is in our property panel, you can check here. Either you can click constraint 3D when you can start plus on 3D, just click here, and elevation from the value, you, you can offset here. And here is fake number, that uh, option here, our our type option here, like our here. Here is number outline, in the case, I prefer for A. Just hit apply. Then I go. I I go my my arrow key to my binary beam. The will show up here is our beam system. So I just click here one. Okay. So now my beam system is coming. Hey, I got a couple of time. Go to three D view. Here is our beam system. So as I want to adjustment my beam system, it's easier. I just click my. Here my beam system in the case sometimes you you cannot see your beam system the whole process is like it's so up only one by one 
for beam so you can hit a tab key for select all or either you can go here you just pick here select pick element just like like this one then you can select all already okay so now we select all our beam system in the property panel you can edit boundary or you can change your number let's say we want to change to 9 then we hit apply or we want to change to 6 then we hit apply as you can see now our beam system is changed properly again i want to change to when it's apply okay so now our beam system is changed properly either here you want to edit boundary or remove beam system here also can it depends on what project you are handle on what kind of beam system that you want to do okay so i hope you understand about this one for automatically then we go back to our level one and level two again so let's start another style for our beam system bs on my keyboard for beam system i press bs on my keyboard again bs okay samsung not working so i just go here beam system here so in the case i prefer go to sketch beam system just click here one so here we got many options and many shapes you can uh draw so for me i just draw let's say i want to draw a line like this one then i start from here like this until here and until here and until here's one hit let's get a couple of time i just want to make sure all its connection just go to tr on my keyboard for stream and it's then okay so everything is connection okay so one more thing here is beam direction if you want to change to uh this way also can so just change beam direction in our previous one is beam automatically also you can change direction when you select here and edit monary so i just select my beam direction here like this one then select here like this for vertical system here then i just hit finish okay so now uh my type okay this one is structural framing framing tab standard is show up so i don't want to see that so i go to visibly graphic again vg on my keyboard go to a notation key and here you can see it's structural framing tab then we finding for structural framing tab just go down like this like this then we try to find for structural framing tab mm, where is it okay here this one just untick here then hit apply then it's okay so now our structural framing tag is gone so okay so let's talk another for beam direction you can you can train direction whatever you want for on your project so you just go to edit boundary select your main system then go to edit boundary again so i want to change my beam system to horizontal i just click here like this one so now my beam system will be changed as you can see okay so i want to change to another click again edit boundary in this case i just like beam system then i check to draw so i want to change to direction like this let's say i want to change like this one just hit like this one okay hit us a couple of time so let's see my beam system here i just hit finish as you can see now my beam system is run from my direction we go to our 3d here is our beam system let's say now we want to cut through our E beam here and this one let me change first change to let's say we change to 10 okay now we change to 10 then we go to our level 2 again like this one so i want to cut through this one okay just select my beam system again then go to edit binary in our shape tool you can select whatever you want let's say i want to go to uh polygon start here like this one just here polygon like this and here is 
rectangle start like this one and here is polygon again let's say i want to like okay just shift finish first here is scaffold time as you can see now uh, my beam system is cut through here is cut through okay so let's go back again go to level 2 then this one go to edit boundary again you can go to complex uh, cut through as you as you want to what to do so i just take this one then i split like this one let's say i i'm going to start like this one okay something like hit sky couple time then hit slightly this one go to big line then let's say i want to upset a hundred millimeter then select here like this one then i might be connect again this one we need to connect it hit a sky couple time we go to our 3d okay so we just hit finish and there you go so now here it's cut through uh like what we want to cut so i hope you got that point for this beam system so again so here is a flat so let's say we want to create our beam system to slope either go up and go down so here we need to create we need again this one i'm going to delete for the ear okay both for the lid so i create another beam system and here we talk about a uh, slope beam okay so we go to level 2 again then we go to beam system here in structural tab just hit here beam system and here is automatically just before this one it's this one and this one here let's get a couple time then go to 3d okay here is a flat one as you can see just a flat beam system now i want to do my beam system slope like this one like roof okay so by train that i just select my beam my support here like this one then here is got dimension so either i want to go up here you can train here as well so i just prefer train this one uh let's say i want to my slope go up to one meter like this one okay so as you can see now my slope is going up this one also i chain to one meter what will happen so now we want to change our beam system but uh, we just change our first support only so how to change this one also for slope like this one uh no worry this one we can show that i just like my beam system here like the center one like this one then here got dimension as well so i just train to one meter and there you go so now is my beam system is running up here i need to change as well again one meter again just hit finish and this one again the same here also okay and there you go as you can see like here is like a roof uh, you can add another another vertical here as well for your beam system let's say here i want to offset i just like here it's like my a column then i know already because i got outside before is one meter so i come to my property panel here my property panel here then i finding for okay top offset to level two we just offset for one meter then i just hit apply now my column is coming up and here as well just like here then coming up for one meter then hit apply then it's finished just turn on for shape okay so let's continue for our topic so 
now we has finished our beam system okay here is a bonus a bonus for you i just like here and here and here let's add another connection i give you some banner for this one bonus um uh, let's go to our steel then this one i change we change to our hidden line is better easier to see so now let's go to unpink first i want to connect my structure from here to here properly so i just like my e beam here one and control key on my keyboard right another one here then go to steel steel tab let's create another connection here like this one okay so now here is our connection so how to connect that it's easier like our previous video we talk about how to create custom uh, custom steel connection if you are you want to watch if you are first time to watch my video check out our link in description for how to create a custom steel connection okay so this one now we connection already is a generate connection again i'm going to my steel tab here is connection i just drop down here arrow here drop down here i need to load in let's say i want to load in all just like all then shift key on my keyboard then turn in then here we need to add in just add okay so now everything is loaded into connection just hit okay now our connection is loaded in again i want to connect from here to here i just like here one like this one my connection then in our property panel i can drop down here okay so far it's loading a while okay so here is what i have load in before previous one so in this case um let me find first what is fake for this one uh front front flat okay this one is fake just like here one again you didn't see anything this one you change to find again then we are coming okay here is coming here is got connection from here it is flat here is both the connection from here to here or you can change another connection like a complex one let's say here i know want to connect also i just like here one and here are one then go to still again go to connection then here i'm going to drop down uh here you can preview you just like here like this one then the preview tab uh, will come in mm, in the case i want the ball find a d the ball okay this one find find again okay here is coming as you can see here is another connection still connection so you can choose whatever you want for your connection and here also for main system here and okay so here okay so i give you another assignment part this one i need i want to connect from here to here also i just go to bed here like this one select here one and select this one one go to steel again go to connection again then i'm going to drop down here like this one then I'm finding for um let me see I think I will write this one just like here this one again I'm just changing this one to find again then we we'll show up let me create another round for one round just like here again and again go to still again go to connection and drop down we use the same one this one uh, yeah this one and here also just like here one and here one we add our still connection here go drop down my property panel to the same one and here and here as well go to my still tab go to connection and this one just drop down then you choose the same one let's change to realistic
okay so here is what we have done in this project i hope you enjoy this tutorial so here is our all you need to know about beam system when you are a beginner and you're starting to learn Revit. i hope you enjoy the this video again uh if you want to support me don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn on notification for learn more about Revit because i make video like this for a week and you list comment below for what you want to learn from us and what and your question i will get back to you soon for your question and answer that uh and if you have some problem in your project you can also you can email us you email so i drop email link in description or you can just comment in our video we will find out for you again guys thank you for watching